okay so in the previous video we learned about the classification so there was competitive elisa and there was non competitive elisa in that there was direct elisa and indirect elisa so in this video we are going to discuss about indirect elisa so first of all here an antigen will be added to the plate next is that there will be a buffer solution with the antigen which will be added to it next there will be a primary antibody which will be added next there will be a secondary antibody hrpo added which will recognize the primary antibody and then it will bind with the primary antibody now you clearly have to re uh, remember this sequence isko isi way mein likhna hai that first antigen is added then blocking buffer with antigen then primary antibody then secondary antibody okay now next is tmb substrate is added and converted to a detectable form now there are merits of it and demerits so what are the merits that will have a wide variety of um secondary antibodies which will be available commercially and demerit is that cross reactivity may occur with the secondary antibody which will result in a non specific signal so this was all about the indirect elisa